Welcome to the Serpentine Creative Channel. I'm your host, Stella Williams, and you're watching Author Talk. Today on Author Talk, I am going to be discussing an issue that I've seen coming up lately in the paranormal sci-fi fantasy romance community about what exactly to call our groups. Because like anything, every genre has its subgenre, its offshoots, things that don't really quite fit the mold. And I've been seeing more and more of a push to kind of se separate um, like sci-fi and time travel romance from paranormal romance into speculative romance, kind of like a play on speculative fiction. And I'm just like, I get it. I understand that there's, um, when people say paranormal romance, they initially think vampires, werewolves, uh, shapeshifters, um, more like folklore, and not so much like the futuristic fantasy elements. And there is kind of this push for writers who do write more of, you know, the science fiction, the fa straight, like, fantasy, elves, dwarves-ish um, type of novels for them to um, market their books as a separate genre because paranormal romance readers are expecting the main, the main three, four vampires, werewolves, well, I guess it's three. Vampires, werewolves, shifters. No. Vampires, werewolves, witches. That's what I meant. Yeah, my brain's not really today. But <laughs> that's, that's neither here nor there. But yes, so I fully support the more sci-fi and fantasy authors in wanting to kind of separate themselves from paranormal but that just kind of brings up the whole issue of what are genres even to begin with. There are specific, you know, tropes and everything that like make you fit in genres. But if you are a genre bending author, where do you stand? And I know my books are very, at least the ones I've published have been very clear in being paranormal romance and I do read a lot of paranormal romance books but I also do read sci-fi fantasy uh recently I did a review for well this week's review was a YA uh I guess it would be sci-fi but um but I get it I get it trying to find your specific audience and trying to define what your genre is and I'm finding that um, now that it's a lot harder for me because I have several stories that don't fit in the paranormal genre per se but they're not like just straight sci-fi they're not just straight fantasy they're not um, well, my most recent isn't any of that. It's, you know, kind of like a contemporary um, erotic suspense, I guess. I don't know. Genres are a whole thing that you got to figure out. And people are like, well, if you outline and you have a clear idea of what, you know, you are writing then it shouldn't be an issue with finding your genre because you'll already know your genre because it's based on these tropes and all this other stuff and I'm like yes that theoretically is correct <laughs> artistically not so much not so much so 
this is where the confusion comes because in a lot of writers groups you know science fiction fantasy fan uh, paranormal romance urban fantasy all kind of get lumped together um, for critiquing for socializing and yes there are common threads through all of them but that doesn't mean we're writing the same thing. I know plenty of people who read fantasy and they get so upset when they pick up a book that uh, says fantasy or urban fantasy and it turns out to be more uh, romantic in nature, you know? Or people who pick up paranormal romance uh, expecting vampires, werewolves, witches, and they're getting elves and dwarves and you know the romantic plot is there but it's not necessarily the focus so it's there's definite lines that can get a little sticky to try to navigate and I just I don't know I think the only genre that kind of like bugs me is speculative fiction. Like the name speculative fiction. It's like so broad and even looking up uh, definitions for it online, it was like, okay, so really the only difference between like speculative fiction and like fantasy is that it's like not set in a different world it's just a different interpretation of the current world i don't know like there's like kind of conflicting de definitions everywhere uh and i've also found it a little confusing um i mean i have my own publishing company i publish myself but as like an exercise i decided to you know, take part in PitMad, and I was looking into pitching at the Pacific Northwest Writers Association conference, and seeing, like, going through the editors and the agents, and seeing what they're interested in and what they're accepting, and the fact that there had to be a special note at the top about what's what speculative fiction is and why certain editors are are instead of saying you know that they do paranormal or urban or um urban fantasy they say speculative fiction you know and it's confusing as an author and it's kind of confusing as a reader because there is no real set set definition for speculative fiction because it is speculative right so you have no idea what you're going to get if you're scrolling through the whole speculative fiction. Just It's going to be some form of fiction, fantasy, high fantasy, time travel, alternate world stuff. Like, that's it. That's it. So I know this was supposed to be an author talk, but it was kind of more of a reader talk. But, honestly, I just find the whole speculative fiction thing kind of confusing. Like, just, like, if you're gonna, I don't feel like there should be, like, a full-on, like, catch-all genre like that. Like, speculative fiction is just so broad because technically all fiction is speculative. You're making shit up. Sorry for cussing. You're making stuff up, right? Um, so if you are one of those time travel or romance writers, uh, fantasy romance writers, like, just say time travel romance, fantasy romance, something along those lines. Make it very specific for your readers to know what you're, you're offering them because just saying speculative fiction is... I feel it's kind of like a cop-out, like, 
Because you can write speculative fiction and it have nothing to do, like, with romance. But then if you say you write speculative romance, then what are you speculating about that romance even exists? I don't know. It's a thing. Uh, it was just something that's been coming across my timeline and kind of been like bugging me and I've been trying to figure it out for myself and I thought like, you know making this video and talking it out it would help but I'm only confusing myself more so I hope I'm not confusing you as well if you've actually made it to the end of this video. So I won't be taking up any more of your time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day.